Let's get started and learn how to configure Pretunnel VPN on the Google Cloud Platform GCP in this video tutorial. So, here in the Chrome browser, you'll notice two tabs open. The first tab, where we currently are, displays the Google Cloud Platform. In the second tab, we have the Pretunnel website. Now, on the Google Cloud Platform, click on Compute Engine. Click on Create Instance. From here, we can create a new instance. The first thing to do is to change the name of the instance. I am going to name this VM instance SSVPN. Now, from the region drop down, Select the country where you want to create a VPN server. As I am in India, I am going to create a VPN server in the US. Likewise, if you want to access sites that are blocked in your country, you can select any other country of your choice. Then, select the zone drop down. Here you can see there are multiple zones available in the U.S. Central Region, so I can select one of the zones. Alright. Now, we have to choose the configuration for the virtual machine, such as CPU and RAM. Currently, we are around the general purpose for the virtual machine column. Here it says, machine type for common workload optimized for cost and flexibility. It is showing a monthly estimated cost of 25 US dollars and 46 cents. We are going to change this so it will be very cheap for our usage. Now we are on the machine type. Here we are going to change the configuration according to our requirement. Click on the drop down menu and select E2 small. If you see, the monthly estimated cost has been dropped from 25 US dollars to 13 US dollars, but don't worry, we are going to reduce the price further. Now, from the availability policies VM provisioning model drop down, select spot instance. And now if you see, the monthly estimated cost is coming to $4.67. Here you can see a checkbox which says, set a time limit for a VM. If you don't want to set the time limit for the VM, just don't select the checkbox. On the time limit type, I am selecting, by hour and I am going to enter as 3 hours. From the On VM Termination drop-down, select Delete, so after 3 hours this VM will be automatically deleted. Now to the Boot Disk section. Here you can see the details which we have. Click on Change and change the operating system. I am going to select Ubuntu. The version of Ubuntu also needs to be selected, so I am using Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Then click on Select. In the firewall section select the checkbox on HTTP traffic and allow HTTPS traffic. Now click on Create. It may take a few minutes to create the virtual machine.
Once the VM is created, you will see a green check mark. That means the virtual machine is ready for use. Next, you can see the virtual machine name, followed by the zone which we have selected. Then, you can see the internal IP, and after that, the external IP address for the virtual machine. Now, let's go to the Printnel website. Here, I am going to click on Documentation, then click on Installation. Scroll down until you find the script for Ubuntu. Click on the copy symbol. Once you have copied, go back to the Google Cloud Console Virtual Instance tab, and then click on the SSH drop-down and select Open in Browser Window. This will open up the SSH terminal window of the server. Right-click on the terminal window and select Paste. This will paste the script we copied from the Pretunnel website. Now, press Enter on your keyboard. This will start the Pretunnel installation process. Sit back and wait until it completes. I fast-forwarded the video, so you won't have to wait long. It can take up to 5 to 10 minutes or more, depending on your server configuration. Once the installation is complete, some configuration steps are required. Let me move that terminal window to the side. Alright. Now, from the Google Cloud Console, I'm going to copy the external IP address of the virtual machine. Ok, so now it's copied. Open a new browser tab and paste the IP address. You may encounter an error stating, your connection is not private, but don't worry. This error is because the certificate is not valid for this IP address. Click on, Advanced, and then click on, Proceed to the public IP address. This will open the pre-tunnel startup page. Here, you need to copy the command that says, Enter Setup Key. In the bracket, you'll see it says, Run sudo pretunnel setup key. So just copy the part where it says, sudo pretunnel setup key. Once you've copied this part, paste it into the SSH window. This will generate a key. Copy this key. And then go back to the pretunnel startup page and paste it into the empty box. Then click on, Save. This will update the pretunnel database. Once again, click on Advanced and then click on Proceed to the public IP address. This will open up the pretunnel login window. Copy the command sudo pretunnel default password and paste it into the SSH window. This will generate the default username and password. After generating the username and password, copy and paste them into the login window. The username is pretunnel and the password is alphanumeric. Then click on sign in. This will open the initial setup window. Here, you'll see the default username, Pretunnel. Enter a new password of your choice, making sure it's difficult. In the Public IPv6 Address field, enter 0.0.0.0/0 and then click on Save. From the top menu, click on Users, then click on Add Organization and enter any name of your choice. Click on Add. Click on Add User. Enter a username. And set a PIN that should be at least 6 characters long. Click on Add.
From the top menu, click on Servers, then click on Add Server. In the Name field, type any name of your choice. Here, you can see the port number. Make a note of it as it can be different for you. Click on Enable DNS Routing. Once done, click on Add. Now click on Add Router. In the empty box, type 0.0.0.0/0, and then click on Attach. All right, now click on Attach Organization. The organization we have already created, so just click on Attach. Now, almost everything is done. Click on Start Server. Once the server is started, you will see the status online. Now, let's open the Google Cloud Console tab again. Click on Set up Firewall Rules. Here, you'll notice multiple firewall rules are already added. From the top, Click on Create Firewall Rule. In the Name field, enter any name you prefer. I'll enter SSVPN in lowercase. Scroll down and find Targets. In the Targets drop down, select Specified Service Account. The Service Account Scope radio button is already selected for in this project. In the Target Service Account drop down, choose Compute Engine Default Service Account. In the Source IPv4 ranges, type 0.0.0.0/0. .0 .0 .0 .0 In the Protocol and Ports section, check the UDP checkbox. Enter the UDP port which we previously noted. If you've forgotten the UDP port, let me show you where you can find it. Let's go back to the Pre-Tunnel tab. Here, you can copy the port number and paste it into the Google Cloud Console for the UDP port dialog box. Now, click on Create. Once the rule is created, let's go back to the Pre-Tunnel tab. From the top menu, click on Users. Here, you can see the user SAMI which we have previously added. Click on the link icon. It says, Temporary URL to view profile link expires after 24 hours. Copy this link. Then click on Close. Paste the copied link into a new tab. This will open up the pre-tunnel user profile. Now, click on Download Client. Select the operating system on which you want to install Pre-Tunnel VPN. As I am using Windows operating system, I am going to download it for Windows installer. Once downloading is complete, 
double click on the downloaded file. If you see a warning like Windows protected your PC, click on More Info, then click on Run Anyway. This will open up a setup wizard. Click on I accept the agreement, then click on Next. Once again, click on Next, then click on Next. The installation process will start. Click on Finish. Now, go back to the Pre-Tunnel User Profile tab. Here, enter the current PIN, which we created when setting up the user Sami. After that, enter a new PIN. Click on Change PIN. Copy the profile URI link. Press Ctrl plus C to copy. Now, let's minimize the Chrome browser. On the search bar, type pre and check for pre-tunnel. Double click on the pre-tunnel icon. Once the pre-tunnel VPN client opens, click on import. Paste the URI which we copied earlier. Click on import. Now, here you can see the tab to connect, but before we connect, let's check our current IP and location. Open the Chrome browser once again, and open a new tab. Search for, what is my IP, in Google. Click on the first link of the search results, which will take you to, whatismyipaddress.com. Let's open this to check my current IP address. As you can see, the IP address starts with 61. Now let's click on Connect on the Pre-Tunnel VPN client. Enter the PIN. And click on Connect. Once connected, you can see the server IP address which starts from 34. Let's open the Chrome browser once again. And now when I refresh the browser, you can see the IP address is changed to my VPN server. Now let's go back to the Pre-Tunnel tab. Here, you can see the user which is connected, showing online. From the top, click on Server. On the user status, you can see user 1 of 1 is online. It completes our this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also click on join and support us to continue making tutorials like this.